Hello everyone, welcome back on Nestle Mayong Chang. Guys, I'm Ramke Singh, Unity game developer, YouTuber and blogger. In today's tutorial, what we are going to learn? We are going to learn about how to reduce flickering, jaggy, pixelless lines in Unity, URP standard or in any other pipeline, SDRP. So most of things will apply in all pipeline, but few personal setting like URP have few uh, personal setting standard pipeline have few personal setting so they have to work uh, on differently so i will explain so let's start the today video if you're new on the channel so make sure subscribe the channel and if you want to support me so just you can join me or you can give me thanks on my video so let's start the today video so friend basically i have created one pdf so that i can explain you very easily because it's create a very huge problem especially when you are working in the virtual reality application but this is the problem in all kind of application like if you are making any game or any vr kind of application so you can face like uh, lots of flickering there are so many jaggy edges i will explain and if you follow these tips so that will be help you to reduce the flickering remove the flickering issue from your application so first thing this is very popular that is the sharp edges why we see the flickering from the 3d object 3d message because these are the sharp edges are issue flickering in the application so what you have to do what is the solution for the solution you have to avoid these sharp edges how you can avoid you can ask your artist to is to aid the supporting edges and they have to create a smooth edges so that you don't get this kind of this kind of sharp edges so basically what you have to do they can aid the supporting edges to to make the smooth edges and what will be the drawback it will increase a uh, poly count of your uh, mesh so you have to bear something but yeah that will help a lot to reduce the flickering or you can say sharp edges so this is the first point and let's move on the second point that is the color transition in the texture so color transition play a very important role especially if you are playing in the vr this is the star wars application and in star wars in virtual reality what happens is that you are in that environment and you are able to see everything so color transition play a very important role you can see the floor you can see the wall you can see this thing so there is a some transition in the texturing so what you have to do is that there should be a transition in the texturing whatever the mesh you are using like floor wall there should be some transition effect it means of transition is that you have to use the neighbor color like it's so uh, so many things they are shadow on the edges so these are the these are the neighbors color as well as you can see the joints there are some shadow so they also avoid to see the sharp edges so you can perform this kind of perform this kind of texturing on your models there should be a neighbor colors as well as shadow on edges if possible okay okay anti-aliasing effect on camera so anti-aliasing effect is a effect which perform on the camera basically it's depend on pipeline if you are using the urp so there is a different setting if you are using the standard pipeline there is a different set in urp i'm going to share you in the unity how you can perform it and in standard in standard when you are adding the post processing effect in post processing you got a one effect that is the anti-aliasing so there you can start the post processing okay so let me explain that how it works in the ur so let's suppose this is my application and i want to perform the anti-aliasing so first thing what i have to do is that here is i have urp settings if you are making application for the virtual reality or mobile so you have to use medium quality so this is the so first thing you have to do is you have to go in the edit project setting and here you will get graphics in the graphics you, here you can see that is the high quality you want to use the high quality you want to use medium quality if you are using the virtual reality so it is important to use the medium quality and if you are using the mobile so you can use the high quality that is not problem but for the virtual reality you have to use medium okay that, so just you have to close it and then let's suppose i am using the medium quality when you will click on the medium quality so here anti-aliasing msa 
so that is the disable but you have to on it and there is a value 2x 4x at x if you are working with the mobile and virtual reality so you have to use 4x not 8x 8x will be very expensive for the camera you can't use the 8x you have to use 4x for the pc you can use 8x but for the mobile and virtual reality it is 4x basically it is the effect on the camera so you have to use the 4x and after that you have to go on the camera and here you can see there is a post processing you have to on the post processing here is the nt aliasing you have to on fast fxa fast approximate nt aliasing so you have to on it and here rendering you have to perform forward rendering and save it so basically this is the nt aliasing effect so whenever you want to perform just click on here 4x and after that you have to go on the camera and on the post processing render forward render nt aliasing fast approximate nt aliasing okay fine let's move on the another one and another reason is that is the lighting because if you are adding so much lighting so all the edges will be visible that will create a problem for us as well as if you are adding more lighting so there will be a more computational problem for your cpu here you can see this is the star wars application here is c here you can see that there is not that much light but there are light where they are feeling that they have to show something so here are the few lines and here are the little bit light so that they want to show something and here you can see also they want to show the enemy is coming from here so there is a more lighting but on this area there is not looking that much lighting okay basically smoothness on material so when you are going in the unity and click on any object and on object you can see there is a smoothness so if you want to avoid the flickering issue so you have to use smoothness zero and if there is necessary compulsory so you can use on some object like floor or wall and you have to use 0 0.5 0 0.8 something like that but not on all object you can use 0 0.8 0 0.9 that will be create a huge huge flickering in your application so most of time you have to try use smoothness zero okay so this is the same thing and here is the reflection pro so when you do the lighting you you give some box that is the reflection probe and you have to use not that much reflection probe you have to use only one or two and by default reflection probe intensity is one but uh, if you can use 0 0.5 to between the value like 0 0.8 or 0 0.7 so that will be also helpful for you to reduce the flickering okay so these are the tips and if you will use these tips so you will be able to resolve the, your flickering issue and if you want to support this channel if you like the video so just you can join me on youtube or you can just give a thanks on a particular video and if you are new on the channel make sure subscribe the channel and like the video so that i can reach much more people who want to learn the unity if you want to ask anything so just drop, drop in the comment box and if you want to share something regarding the video so please share that will help us that will be help to other people to learn more so thanks for watching have a good day see you in next video bye bye take care